Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Lexus IS. Almost all second-generation Lexus IS are rear-wheel drive and automatic transmissions. Manual transmission can only be found in tandem with a diesel engine, which means very, very rare. And let's be frank, if we don't build cramps, then an automatic machine is much more appropriate on a car of this class. Four-wheel drive is extremely rare, but we couldn't find any special complaints about the system. For example, Toyota Mark X doesn't complain about all-wheel drive either, but it is exactly the same there. By the way, with the mark of the X120 series, this Lexus is unified not only in all-wheel drive, but in general in many ways. It is a universal genre for the gearbox, automatic transmission and other stuffing, from the suspension to part of the body pad. Usually the rear gearbox is worth checking out when you buy. It can be rolled up even with the weakest 2.5 engine, not to mention the more voluminous ones. And oil leaks, which happen on older machines, finish it off unambiguously. The main problem is a mist level or just dirty oil that kills oil seals. The noise isolation is good enough that the gearbox noise is almost inaudible. Leaks and oiling of the body is a sufficient reason to urgently attend to changing the oil, and when buying, listen to the operation of the gearbox on the lift, spinning it up with the motor. Contract parts are not very expensive, but when buying a Lexus, they usually count on no problems at all. Here the carton chef is quite reliable, under normal operation it will need repairs to run 200 plus. Automatic transmissions on the IS are mostly ISIN A96OE. The six-speed gearbox is a completely classic ISIN scheme. Unfortunately, it was made to complete with European automatic transmissions of premium cars and it is sharpened for dynamics and efficiency at any cost. In this case, with the rapid wear of the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine, which happens with runs over less than 120,000, as well as the rapid contamination of the well body and wear of the reverse and direct solenoids. Unfortunately, there are also mechanical problems. For fans of active driving, it damages the bushings of the front planetary gear and the trolleybus sound appears due to the turbulence of the satellites in the same planetary gear. Overheating and oil starvation kill both the pump bushing and the pump itself. The relatively large number of problems for icing products can be easily explained. Firstly, the electronic setting, which greatly overload the blocking of the gas turbine engine and give a high load on the gearbox mechanics and the very high operating temperature due to the use of the fashionable European solution, a heat exchanger on the body of the automatic transmission itself. And if nothing can be done with the first problem, except for to drive quietly, then the second can and should be fought. Changing the oil more often so that the heat exchanger doesn't grow over with dirt is a simple method, but not very effective in this situation. It is much better to put an external heat sink with a filter through the adapter plate. Even a small standard radiator from the Land Cruiser of old year seriously prolonged the life of the box. Well, for those who like to push the gas to the floor and are ready to spend a little money for this, there is an even better solution. For example, to the automatic transmission A76OE, A761H, designed to transmit torque up to 420 nm, which is much more than 300 for the 960s automatic transmission. Also, the 760 is less prone to overheating and failure, but otherwise structurally close, up to the matching well body design and almost the same body. In principle, the A761H was installed on the IS XE2 as standard, but with 3.5 motors. Alas, it practically doesn't occur with 2.5 engines. But on Lexus LC, LS, GX and LX, this box is easy to find and the contract units cost from 20 to 40,000 rubles. You can install an even stronger and cheaper 760E by replacing the wiring connector, but this task is not too expensive and affordable for a skilled electrician. Better yet, complete a set of works, put a selector from 9060 and replace four larger linear solenoids in the valve body. If the A9060E breaks down, replacing it with a 760-761 is the best way out. You just need to remember that replacing the 760 with a simple change of chip will most likely lead to a noticeable impact when shifting with good traction from second to third gear, which is not particularly comfortable and slightly affects the resource of the automatic transmission itself. An external radiator is highly recommended for this automatic transmission. By default, it has such a heat exchanger just because of the design features. The temperature of the liquid in it turns out to be somewhat lower. And for those who want to drive and swap the 3.5 motor, the installation of the A760E with an external radiator and filter is required. The 960s of the increased load simply will not withstand. 
A few diesel operators have no complaints about the manual gearbox. After 350 plus thousand mileage, a bulkhead with the replacement of synchronizer rings is usually required and perhaps that's all. The engines of the second generation Lexus RS are entirely six cylinder, except for diesel in line 4s and 8 under the hood of the sport modification. True, the legendary JZ is almost never found here. This is a popular swap. Count on stock 4 JR FSE on the IS 250, 3GR FE on the American IS 300, and 2GR FSE on the IS 350. V8 2UR JSE is working under the hood of the ISF, but such cars have not been seen in Russia. The GR engine series is well known to our compatriots because the very massive Camry with 3.5 has a 2GR FE engine and has proven itself well. FSE versions are distinguished by direct injection, which means that they have more expensive and capricious fuel equipment and difficulties with coking inlet valves. In general, the motors are quite reliable, the resource of the piston group as normal conditions is more than 350,000 km, the resource of the timing chain is about 200-250,000. The design of the attachments is successful, but there are still problems. The most unpleasant thing that can happen to it, it is a breakdown of the outer tube of the WTI oil supply. The composite structure, which was used until 2008, sometimes depressurizes and the engine remains without oil in a few minutes. Under stress, this means quick death. It is highly recommended to check the tube and replace it with part number 1577-31030, all metal. The pump resource is simply ridiculous, even with runs up to 50,000 it should be carefully checked and it's better to change it about the same interval. Change only for a new and high quality one and check at every MOT test. For minor troubles, VVTI coupling knock and after the noise is confused with the noise of worn chains. The problem appears with low mileage, it doesn't cause any special problems, you can drive it like that, but it is expensive to treat by replacing the clutches themselves. The replacement price is about 40 47,000 rubles, but they will be enough for 50 60,000 km, so usually the clutches on the machine snogs and no one repairs them. Another possible problem is mainly associated with the 4GR FSE, 2GR FSE, longitudinal motors, and it is called simply PPC. This is not what you thought, but the problem of the fifth cylinder, but it reflects the essence of the problem quite accurately. In the longitudinal configuration, the fifth cylinder suffers from EGR operation, insufficient cooling, catalyst, crumbling and intake leaks. True, it gets less from the intake on the IS than on the GS, but in general the fifth cylinder of these engines always suffer first. As a result, the occurrence of the rings, early wear of the piston and cylinder bore. When buying, it is worth checking the compression in the fifth cylinder. It is better to carry out endoscopy and in operation to muffle the EGR or put a filter on it. For engines with conventional injector, there is a problem, but less pronounced, since their EGR is less active. And of course, at the first sign of catalyst shedding, it must be changed, well or removed. Otherwise, expect damage to the cylinder piston group by every 40-50 thousand runs, it is recommended to clean the intake wells with the removal of deposits, otherwise the power is greatly reduced. This procedure is not needed on engines with conventional injection, for example those who have 2GR FE or 3GR. 3GR FE, but on a conventional IS250 with 4GR FSE. It is highly recommended, otherwise you can catch a piece of coke under the valve or even stretch the cylinder bar. In addition to the problems of the motor themselves, you should definitely check the condition of the radiators. The relatively weak design of the main radiator often serves as a catalyst for problems with the engine and automatic transmission. Watch carefully for leaks and it is better to change the radiator to a good not original for example, Burr, and not Japanese. Fan failures are also not, not uncommon on IS, it is highly recommended to carry out monitoring at every maintenance and on the eve of the summer season. On this, information about the problems of Lexus IS is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.